In this series of videos, I want to talk about the men behind the mechs. The designers of the Gundams, mobile suits and mechs of models we know, enjoy and customise. The first designer I want to talk about is likely the most well known. Having designed and rehashed many mechs over a career spanning over 30 years. Hajime Kotoki Kotoki gained popularity for his original work on the very technical and detailed Gundam Sentinel novel, originally serialised in the Japanese publication Model Graphics between September 1987 to August 1988. Unbelievably, Sentinel, featuring the very pretty EXS or Superior Gundam as it's sometimes referred to, came very close to not being published at all. The first model from the Sentinel series, a full armour version of the Double Zeta, was displayed in the 1987 hobby show with great interest. However, Bandai's interests were more focused on the upcoming Char's counter-attack movie. Fans asking when the Sentinel series was going to be published, or when the model kit was going to be released, were met with the typical wall of silence we all know and love from Bandai, and over time started to be thought as another model project that failed to get off the ground. Thanks to New Time magazine, a manga news publication showing off some of Kotoki's designs and a loose plotline, interest in Sentinel grew enough for Bandai to finally take notice, and the serialised Sentinel novel got the go-ahead. Never underestimate the power of fandom. Sentinel became a cult success, and launched Kotoki's career as a staple mecha designer for Bandai and Sunrise. After Sentinel, Kotoki partnered with Shoji Kawamori, designing the main Gundams for the Zeta prequel OVA 0083 Stardust Memory, moving on to being the lead mechanical designer for Victory Gundam. In 1994, Kotoki moved into antagonist mobile suits, working on the utterly bonkers but fun G Gundam series, designing this and many variants of the notorious Devil Gundam. In 1995, he created more bad guy suits for Gundam Wing, producing the popular Tall Geese mobile suit piloted by the series char clone, Zex Marquis. Kotoki later continued to produce new and refined versions of the series' five main Gundam suits, off the back of being the first Gundam series to meet with global success. Kotoki also worked on some non-Gundam series such as Super Robot Wars, Pat Labor, the second movie, and the virtual on video games. Ever since Sentinel way back in 1987, Hajime Kotoki has designed and redesigned a huge amount of mobile suits, all with his unique, long-limbed, small head and super detailed style that is known and loved by mecha fans all over the globe. Kotoki's work is held in such high esteem that he has his own ver car signature on master grade model kits and figures alike. He's also responsible for one of the most massively produced, re-released, re-coloured and reproduced Gundams that has ever been by the good old granddaddy RX-78-2, the soon to be made one to one scale RX-0 Unicorn. That's going to be something I am going to have to see for myself. I may let out a girly squeal when I see it. In Hajime Kotoki's Fix art book, released way back in 1999, he states Do people like myself spend time imagining what it would be like if Gundam robots were actually present on the streets of our cities? Are you sure you're not limiting yourself to the images that are offered in the animated series? One of the reasons that I fell in love with Gundam was that it excites me to imagine what it would be like if these machines actually existed and I worry that other fans may be losing out. He then continues saying he hopes his work will catch people's attention. Then people who had never before been drawn in by the magic of these giant robots may discover their attraction for the first time. <laughs> 